In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and use IntelliJ for free using their Community Edition. So we'll head over to Google, we'll type in IntelliJ and press Enter, and you'll see it's, uh, it's owned by JetBrains and this is the IntelliJ IDEA. And IntelliJ is, of course, it's the leading IED for professional development in Java and Kotlin. So we'll head over to Download. And it takes you over to the download, but the first one here is the IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate. And this is the paid version. It does offer you a free 30-day trial. But if you scroll down, you can see this. It says they're committed to giving back to the wonderful community. And they've created a free open source uh, community edition. So I'm using Apple. So I'm going to go ahead and download this for Apple, for Mac. And for Mac, the installation is pretty simple. You'll get this pop-up that's telling you to drag the app into the Applications folder. I already have one in place. So I'm just going to have it replace it with a new one. Now, once the app loads, this is what it's going to look like. I already have a couple projects here that I've worked on before. Uh, one of the things people get hung up on on the Community Edition is creating a new Spring Boot project. So if we go to New Project, uh, it's going to default on Java. It's going to give you Kotlin, Groovy, or an empty project. Then you can look at uh, Generators. And you can see Spring, and it's locked, right? So it's saying update to the IntelliJ Ultimate Edition uh, to be able to create Spring Boot projects. But there's another way we can do that, and I'll demonstrate that right now. So let's cancel, head back over to Google. We're going to search for Spring Boot Initializer. It'll be this first one, this start.spring.io, Spring Initializer. And the initializer creates, generates Spring Boot projects for you. And you'll actually be able to download them uh, in a zip folder. Uh, so project structure will do Maven, language is Java. Uh, Spring Boot version it defaults to the current version. Uh, project metadata, this is where you could change things. So instead of example, I could put my name. You could put the project name in here. Um, Spring. IntelliJ uh, demo project for Spring Boot, right? Packaging as a, as a jar, and the Java version is 17. I'll leave all of that. And then you can go up here and select your dependencies. So the one we'll need at least is Spring Web. And then I usually like to do Dev as well, Spring Boot Dev Tools. And we'll click Generate, and we will be able to download that folder. Right, so we can change the name if we want to. I'm going to leave it as is. Hit save. All right, so here's that folder with the Palm XML, the source with everything else in it, the, the main Java, uh, and our resources will have our application properties. So everything's in there we need for a Spring Boot. So I'm going to open this up using the IntelliJ community version. And then we're going to go ahead and test it out to make sure it runs. All right, so once it opens it up, this is what it looks like. Uh, usually you'd be able to start it by pressing the start, but it's currently not there. So I'm going to show you how we get that project started. Uh, we're going to go to source, main, Java, and then in your application file, you'll see in this little play button. So we're going to hit this play button, and we're going to hit run our project. And as you can see down here, it said started our project successfully. So. Let's head over to the browser, go to port 8080, and see what it looks like. All right, so I have port 8080 on a link right here. This takes us to our local host 8080, which our project is running on, and we're getting this white label error page, which is expected because we have nothing in our code, uh, nothing for it to display. So let's create a REST endpoint that's just going to return a string with the famous hello world. So we have our application. Uh, we'll just do it within our main application file. We'll add a REST controller, a request mapping, and this is going to return a string that is hello world. Hello world. Let's save that. Let's rerun this. Looks good. Let's go back to our Chrome and refresh. 
and now we get hello world. So congratulations, we are running a Spring Boot application on IntelliJ's free community version. Hope you liked this video. If you did like it, please give me a like, a subscribe, leave a comment if you had any questions or any issues, and I'll see if I can help you fix that. Catch you on the next video.